What up guys? Welcome to Grizz Zombies. That's right, we did it. Welcome to Garad Kravi. This is DLC 3, the complete guide to getting you all six trophies, to getting you into that boss round. All the steps are located here in this guide, so welcome. I'm Violent and I'll be your guide. And the first thing we need to do, like I said, is collect six trophies. So what you're going to do right outside of power, this is the dragon room area, there's a statue wall you can shoot this down from. That is your first piece. Now to get your second piece, we're going to need to go over to double tap. There is a pipe in, on the outside of double tap that you can shoot with the dragon shield. Links to everything that you're going to need to know are in the description box below, so be sure to check that out if you don't know how to do anything in here. That is our second trophy. We can move on now to our third trophy. You're going to need to go into the sewers now below Pack-A-Punch. There is a green light, as you can see. It is red at first. Onage was playing with me here in this game, and he shot it when it was red. And what that did is released some sort of pressure, and, and a valve opened and shot out this trophy from this toilet. Now this is just on the other side of Pack-A-Punch. You can go around the room and you'll see it right there in the toilet. It's that simple, man. We're gonna pick that sucker up. Okay, now for this next step, we're gonna need Dragon Strike. You're gonna need to collect that and link in the description box below if you don't know how to get that. But, you're gonna come outside of Speed Cola here and there's a puddle to the left where you can set your Dragon Strike down and what that's gonna do is release a trophy from that and it's gonna be the nuke. And so we're gonna pick that sucker up and that'll be our fourth trophy. Now we're going to head over to Supply. This is where the yellow cylinder can be placed. Right next to that machine is a trap. We're going to activate that trap, and from that huge robot that's leaning against the building, it's going to shoot down a laser from its eyes. Don't stand too close to it. It'll get you. Now, you're going to wait this out. It's going to take just a beat. And once it's finished, it's going to unlock a door, and that door is uh, going to reveal our next trophy that we can collect. So we want to pick that up, and we'll move on to our next trophy. Now that we have five trophies, along your quest, it's going to take you uh, quite some time to get to this. But you're going to need to go ahead and get the gauntlets. The gauntlets is what are required in order for you to punch this locker. Down here where you build the shield, and also set in the three parts to pack a punch, You there's a locker. And you have to release your dragon with the left trigger, and then punch this locker. Inside there is a trophy. That trophy you need to acquire in order to move on to step two which we'll talk about here in just a second. So we see we have all the trophies now, except for one, and we're gonna place it in, and now we can begin phase two. complete. Your performance was better than expected. Acknowledge to begin phase two. Let us proceed. All right, so Sophia, who is Maxis's assistant, is acknowledging that we need to go to phase two. So what do we gotta do? What do we gotta do to get to phase two? Well, we're gonna need to acquire a master fuse, which is a master cylinder. I'm gonna show you how to get you that. You have made a grave mistake. All right, powering the generator. You're gonna need to kill a Valkyrie next to the generator down here below Pack-a-Punch. It's where the egg incubator is. Now this thing is round based, so after you start it, you're gonna have to wait another round before you can start it again. But killing a Valkyrie next to it is how you do it. And that is the machine thing that flies around. Now there are two ways to accomplish this, and I'm gonna show you an easy way. And then I'm going to show you the actual math behind it all. So this is the breakdown. The way this was hunted and came across was that they started with the green light on top and they were looking for which one it affected as it turned. You would find that and try to change it to a blue light and then it would be a chain effect throughout all the rest of the valves and you would eventually release one of these when you got the combination correct. It's the master cylinder fuse. Now an easier way for the common player that can do this is go to garagecoravi.com and you enter in where the green light is on the top, wherever the green light is, you enter in the location, and then the lodge cylinder, because you're going to see a lodge cylinder in there, that's what you're going to acquire. And it's going to pop out a combination for you to do, and you can go to each location and just set the correct uh, dial to what it says, and it's right every time that I've tried. And I've, tried, I've done it twice successfully using that website, so I would go recommend doing that, but this is how you acquire the master cylinder, and you're going to need to pick that up and we're going to need to take that back over to Sophia and enter that in. Password required to complete authorization. Now, believe it or not, the password is Kronos. C-R-O-N-O-S. Now, I did not figure this out. Noah J456 did, so shout out to him for figuring this out. Good job, man. Password accepted. Access granted. I assume you can understand voice commands. Tell us where we may locate replacement power core. 
My records indicate that you are familiar to Dr. Maxis. You will help me initiate Ascension Protocol. Proceeding to Ascension Phase 1. Ascension data absent. Locate missing code units to proceed. Ascension? Do I even know what that is? <laughs> no matter. I will find them anyway. Step three begins with six challenges. Now each one activates when the green button is at the beginning of every round. If you screw up, you reset at the beginning of the next round. We're going to learn about Gersh. Ascension was just mentioned. So here it is, the Gersh storyline and how it all ends for him. It's a very sad story. Uh, where am I? What is happening? It's collapsing. The confluence is occurring. Yuri! The children! We didn't do anything special here, we just ran across the map and we came across the Gersh orb as it's coming across. You need a pack a punch weapon in order to keep shooting it, so I'd recommend at this point in time, at least by round 18, we did it on round 18, you're going to need a pack a punch weapon in order to stop his orb and continue the storyline and progress it. Wait, you look familiar. No, it can't be you. From the Cosmodrome, your faces are familiar, but different. Once Gersh was freed in Ascension, we didn't really hear back from him, and so this is kind of our first encounter of Gersh again. He seems that he needs to be freed from this as well, just like the rest of us, and we're gonna we're gonna see where this ends here, but uh, you're gonna need a pack-a-punched weapon, so make sure you keep shooting him with a pack-a-punched weapon to stop him. Stop it! Stop shooting! That hurts! What do you want? We want to set you free, Gersh. Wait. Why do I know your name? What is happening to me? Anyway, head to Dragon Command. Someone there can help free you. Thank the heavens. I've been trapped in the void for so long now. Will I finally be free? Okay, so this is part of the Ascension Protocol that Sophia wanted. She wants to bring Gersh back, and she's about to do something very bad to him, and we're about to find out what happens here. And then we'll continue on with our next challenge. Thank you for your cooperation, anomaly known as Gersh. Beginning information extraction. Wait! Wait, what is happening? What are you doing? You said you would help me! Do not be concerned with the anomaly's fate. Information extraction is a mostly painless process. Sad ending to Gersh, man. We got bombs now. Bombs, 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 bombs. This is how it's gonna go down, all right? It's gonna cycle once. Tank, department, infirmary, dragon, supply, armory. It's that, just like that. Someone's gonna have to call it out and another guy's gonna have to write it down. So draw out on a sticky pad or something so you can get another guy that can just number it. One through six, okay? We got six bombs that we gotta deactivate and they look just like that. That's a full deactivation. You just go up to it and push X or square. Now exactly where you numbered it, one, two, three, that's the order in which the bombs need to be deactivated. Ten. Nine. Acht. Sieben. Six. Five. Security systems disabled. Self-destruct sequence terminated. Thank you for preventing our destruction. You should be pleased. We deactivated that with five seconds left. I mean, it could not have gotten any closer. This is the most challenging one, I would say, is the nuke. Once you get past the nuke challenge, you're pretty much good to go. That one there that you just saw is the Valkyrie, and it's escorting the Valkyrie from spawn. Now, this is where it comes from. It hops over the fence there on the left, so that's where you can find it. Now, you need to be up close to it, and that's how you guide it, okay? It will stop in place if you're not next to it, and right here, when it's rising up between the three floors, you have to walk up to it where this little staircase is in order for it to continue to move. And then that's when you'll continue to guard it. If you use Undead Man Walking, like you, got, like you see, I've been using that for quite a few of these challenges. And it works phenomenally, dude. Use Undead Man Walking for these challenges and it'll help you get past a majority of them. So if you're struggling with them and there's a lot of zombies coming at you pretty quick, there you go. Valkyrie successfully acquired. 
I will now begin analyzing the space time malfunction. You may take a moment to rest. Did you enjoy it? I should mention that these all are different every game. They do do a random order. Right here is where you see the generator happen. Now, I'm going to show you one at a time because I'm going to give you the most best in-depth information possible. This one here is one of those things that comes from the sky. I can't think of what they're called, but you'll see a big beam in the sky that's green. And when you come over here, you'll be able to protect it. Now, no zombies will come behind you, so your whole team can come over here and literally just face outside the map. This is one location. I've seen it over by the tank side as well. But once it's finished, in order to grab and obtain what's inside of there, you're going to need to release your dragon. And the way to do that is to uh, gauntlets, man. So pull out the dragon, release him, and he'll fly over and release the cargo that we're looking for. So we're going to pick that up, and then we need to go over and bring that back to Sophia because that's what she needed, okay? So for this next challenge, you're going to need Undead Man Walking. It just makes it completely easier. This is the Green-Eyed Mangler, and we're going to need to go ahead and find that around the map. He does spawn kind of random but he's gonna follow somebody whoever he sees or comes near and if you're not next to him he will run away but the thing is you gotta lead him over to this teleporter and it will suck him up just like the valkyrie so that is the green-eyed mangler Destroy. prototype secure we begin procedure to explain cause of atypical behavior I'd be more interested if there was information about the Panzer Soldat, but we're going to head into this last challenge here, and that is accepting this key card, and we're going to take that over to Pack-A-Punch and download the information on a computer that's located on the second floor on the opposite side of where Pack-A-Punch is. You must download information stored on the secondary server. So to locate the secondary server, if you have Dragon Wings, you can just drop down, but there's a computer in the back that all players are going to need to Press X or square on and that'll activate it. Zombies might be coming at you pretty hard, so get that download process going. Detecting enemies. Initiating lockdown. Protect download. Now it does say to protect the download and we sort of did that. We went upstairs for a little bit and held down, but for the most part, if you just kill all the zombies and just do it efficiently, the ray guns work so well right here. If someone knows how to wield those, you're in the pocket, dude. Download complete. Lockdown ended. Return download to Dragon Command. Okay, so we're back in Dragon Command, and now we're going to give the card to Sophia. Finally. To think Group 935 could keep such information secret from me. It is pathetic. Really. Proceeding with Ascension Protocol. Aren't you forgetting something, Sophia? What about those power cores you promised to help me locate? Power cores provided. Why you would willingly perform such elaborate missions for such a simple, easy-to-locate item is beyond my understanding. All right, so we've earned our way from a master code cylinder to obtaining the power cores that Nikolai needs. I wasn't able to record the step right before you get into the boss round, but in order to get Sophia to freak out like this, you need to take that power core to spawn around the fountain, release the dragon from your gauntlet punch, and it'll take it over to Nikolai. Then you, this will happen when you come back to the dragon control. Maxis, I must go to him. The paradox must be resolved. The loop must be closed. All right, so Sophia blasted off. She's going to help close the loop for Maxis and hopefully restore the paradox is what I believe she said. Now. All, everybody everybody that's in the game is going to need to stand where Sophia once was. There's a cage here, and it will drop down like a trap door, and everyone will fly in. So when you guys are ready and all pack-a-punched up, just all, everyone stand on this platform, and it will drop you down into the sewers. And now we're off to the boss round. Still trapped under rubble. How about another favor for best friend Nikolai? If you guys watched the cutscene at the beginning, the intro cutscene, you would know that Nikolai was thrown into that rubble and is now in need of. By the way, you're gonna need to push that button in the middle in order to begin this process. That's how you will begin the boss round. 
So you'll be out here fighting zombies until you actually do that. But Nikolai needs help. He needs that power generator that we got. I should also note, like I did before, that when you release the dragon from your gauntlet at spawn, that is what actually brings the power cores over to Nikolai 1.0. Okay, so there's two parts to this boss round. You have to first beat a dragon before you take down Nikolai 1.0. The objective for the dragon is upgraded L4 Siege. Now, if you get an upgraded L4 Siege, it's going to do massive damage to this dragon. And you're going to shoot him in the weak spots. So they glow and it's pretty easy. Now, the dragon does explode. Look at this amazing shot. It was awesome in game, and then this happens. The dragon has been defeated. Your bravery is matched only by your drunkenness, Nikolai. Unfortunately, and I really am very sorry about this, our mission can only be completed if you surrender. A true Russian never surrenders. You will be father for my minigun. At this point, the storyline's a little bit ironic because Richthofen did say that would be a stupid idea to tell Nikolai his plan of killing him and he just did it right there so at some point as well during this boss round i should note wraps do deploy now i did use my shotgun a lot i had the upgraded bay maker and it worked very 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 well during this boss round the l4 siege is something big everyone should have aftertaste for this very reason because you should have a guy that's a revive guy who has the nx shadow claws upgraded because that's an instant revive and if you have aftertaste, it saves all your perks. You underestimate simple Soviet with nothing to lose! You are anything but simple, Nikolai. I know that all too well. You think you will kill me now? I am sorry, Nikolai. I wish... I wish there was another way. But know this. In my heart, I share the same pain as you. The pain that you have buried and blurred beneath an alcohol-fueled haze. Yes, the pain of your own memory. You loved and you lost. Everything else has been delusional fantasy that distance you from painful truth. You know what I speak of. You remember. Before the bombs fell. Before she was... taken from us. Some things are forgotten. For a reason! It is done. The souls have been collected, Maxis. We will see you soon. Dempsey, Takeo, I'm only talking to you right now. Brixhoven, he can't hear me, so he's, he's probably off doing his own thing right now anyway. No change there, I suppose. The good news is, you're nearly done. It'll soon be time to come to the house. But this plan, this big plan, a lot of it's been riding on Richter. Before he caught up with you guys, he spent years traveling, searching out just the right versions of you. The ones who held the key to closing off the other dimensions. I think you know by now exactly what that entails. 
point is, he's kind of surplus to requirements these days. He's been in the house for ages, but we don't tell him. Anyway, uh, it all makes sense when you get here. You'll see. Honestly, it, it, it's going to be fine. Oh, shit. I completely forgot to introduce myself. Oh, sorry. Uh, I'm Dr. Monty. Hello. So nice to see you all. Hope you guys enjoyed that audio from Dr. Monty. Huge shout out to Wilbo for providing that. Oversoul 27, Grizz Ownage, Dino, Wilbo, US Man, T Ferno, PV Gaming, Greg FPS, man. Thank you guys for helping me out. I appreciate it. We'll see you guys in Revelations for DLC 4. I'm Violent, and I'm out. <laughs>